okay guys uh, let's talk about the mrsc eradication uh, prescription it is very very important it is coming uh, very often uh, so uh, what happens in the mrsa you need to prescribe the patient uh, loading dose of vancomycin as well as the patient needs uh, mupirocin uh, mupirocin is a is an ointment that goes into the into the nose in both nostrils so it is important that you know all those and the vancomycin is a drug that is needed for the eradication of uh, MRSA. Um, it has to be given um, for five days. And the important thing about MRSA eradication program that the vancomycin should be given a loading dose in the beginning according to the weight of the patient then we need to check the level of the vancomycin and continue giving according to the renal functions of the patient so um, the important points uh, about this is let's talk about the scenario uh, you have a patient called Rajiv Mandas who is 82 years old and he is diagnosed with the MRSA infection there are few medications given on the list which need to be prescribed as well as a patient um, has to be given antibiotics for the eradication uh, of MRSA now talking about the patient special notes the patient is allergic to we can see allergic to penicillin and he develops a rash so these are the important things uh, important parts of data gathering that you need to focus on and that the patient is allergic to penicillin uh, and he develops a rashes his age his name and uh, what we are doing uh, let's uh, see uh, what we can do as i mentioned the vancomycin loading dose should be given according to the weight of the patient and then uh, the remaining the rest of the doses for the next four days should be given according to the egfr of the patient or the renal functions uh, this is this is just advice it should be applied in both nostrils for five days and uh, um, then vancomycin should be given according to the to the weight um, you will get in your exam you will get the calendar uh, you will get the chart for uh, vancomycin where you have to uh, tell you the information look on the information and give the dose and prescribe the dose uh, according to the weight this patient is 80 kilogram so we can see that uh, uh, vancomycin loading dose for this gentleman is uh, 1.5 gram and uh, should be given diluted in uh, 500 milliliters of normal saline over three hours and the remaining doses should be given according to the to the EGFR as the EGFR of the patient is normal we can go for uh, for the higher dose which is 1.25 gram twice daily and should be given again diluted uh, let me show you now uh, we have done this uh, prescription completion for you you can see uh, you need to take the box for MRSA on the first page after after um, affixing the label for this patient then uh, you need to document that the patient is allergic to penicillin and uh, he develops itching and rashes put your signatures and your name um, and your date of examination uh, then the first dose or the loading dose should come on the once only um, once only page which is the first page now going to the next page it is important that you can see uh, you skip the first dose because you have already given uh, one loading dose you need to prescribe according to the uh, to the egfr of the patient all the subsequent doses should be according to the kidney functions of the patient so uh, you can see on the antibiotic page what you need to do is vancomycin uh, diluted in 250 mils of normal saline and the dose is 1.25 gram intravenously you start uh, you write the start date and the stop date with your name gmc number your signature and you also give the special instructions um, that the patient's drug level should be checked 
before the fourth dose however you still continue giving the same dose and wait for the uh, do not wait for the result meprosen ointment has to be given in both nostrils so that is a rule for this uh, it should be given one application in both nostrils for five days and ideally we should complete um, the course then repeat the swab two days after the course is completed you need to write that clearly in the instructions as you can see in here going to the next page the regular medications it is important now your scenario does not say that the patient has to be given delta parin however this is something which is pre-prescribed any hospitalized patient unless contraindicated need delta parin uh, that is a mandatory drug so uh, normally in the uk in most of the hospital delta parin is given in the evening uh, in the evening dose um, so you need to write and encircle the evening dose and aes is uh, these are the stocking unless contraindicated which can be in case of uh, uh, arterial problems um, arterial limb ischemia or, or the wounds or severe infection kind of things otherwise it is kind of mandatory because it has to be worn 24 hours <coughs> continuously so it is important that you encircle all of them uh, not just uh, one single round and it, the dose is one pair in both legs uh, you need to write the indication why you are giving it. It is for the VD prophylaxis again as a delta parin. The patient's uh, regular medications, if we go back to the scenario, it is uh, it includes amlodipine, so it has to go on the regular medication page. And uh, that's all about uh, the regular medications. As we can see, the patient is already um, in the hospital. You can proactively give some medications just in case if they are needed, like the PRN medications. If you think your patient uh, can, can have some fever, uh, as in this case, or can have some pain, so you can give the medications like paracetamol, PRN, or as required for the pain and for the fever. That is all about, uh, the, about the vancomycin and mupirocin as well as MRSA eradication program. So it is important that you write your GMC number, your name on, uh, on the front of, the, uh, of uh, your drug chart. Then you write the loading dose on the first page and it, the subsequent doses on the regular antibiotic side. Uh, it is important that you cross the first dose because you you have already given a um, loading dose of vancomycin the fourth dose uh, before the fourth dose you should check the level of the vancomycin for the patient and after the completion of the course uh, for five days it is important that we wait for two days and re-swap to uh, to test for the eradication this is all about it i wish you best of luck and uh, um, i suggest you to practice more and more for uh, for all your prescriptions in particular and uh, all the scenarios in general so um, if you have any confusion you can always contact us uh, i'm always available for you thank you